Gay rights. <laughs> uh, legitimate question. Should I crop out the black bars in the game? <gasps> oh. Oh my god, for a second I was like, where's my where's my data from last time? That spooked me, girls. That really spooked me. Where's Amy? Story. Story mode. Team Rose. We're 74%. We're up. You can count on me. And we have chosen okay. Here we go. to go for the gay rights. Sorry, I need to eat stuff. The Hang Castle. This is where all the hung boys from Grinder hang out in. I think we're lost. Oh, this place is creepy. Come on, you guys. Don't you want to find Chocola and Froggy? We can do this. I've got to get tough for all of us. We're here. We said gay rights. We've arrived. And we're ready. We're ready to save the world, ladies. Oh, that scared me. That spooked me a little bit. Amy left the building. She's she's officially out. Oh, I literally did it. I literally got detected and he called his friends. You know what? Maybe I wanted more friends to hang out with. What's wrong with that? I'm falling. Yeah, Amy, we could tell. Amy is like stating the the stating the obvious. Like we get it, sis. What? Where am I? The castle is turned upside down. Love the obvious once again. They're really good at pointing out the obvious, aren't they? They they don't have a lot of they. Oh, I was gonna be. They they have a lot of talents, but pointing out the obvious is a their biggest one. That robot gets really bad if it's flipped over by Tornado Hammer. Tornado so Hammer. Be careful when he's upside down. Okay, big. Good Bye. to know. Oh, yes, hidden wall. Hidden room in the wall. Did we hit anybody? Yes, big is the one. <clears throat> big is the one that I want. You are the one I want. Ooh, ooh. I love selecting one of them and then the others just like randomly pops up. No, I didn't mean to use Amy there. There you go. Oh, that's cute. Cream is on his shoulder. Amy is like, no, I'm an independent woman. Yes, Amy, Queen of Positivity. Can I just be like this for the whole thing? I love having cream on his shoulder. It's so freaking adorable. Oh. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. It was just like us slowly against the wall. It was us just slowly descending. You have cream on your shoulder too. I wish. That would be a very good sign, Miss Passion. Some sort of stain. What's that? I wish. The crunchy camera will always get me, girls. God. Wait, why why does it say for me to use Amy? Hell no. Hell fucking no. Why does that want me to use Amy? 
That's like the worst idea I've ever heard. What the On my shoulder? No, I don't. What are you talking about? <laughs> I literally don't. That's like the lighting. <laughs> you tricked me into looking, huh? You whore. I think we should take care of those robots first. Oh, Team Blast. <laughs> Gay rights! Oh, that's the end. Yes. What the? We did it. <gasps> oh no! Oh, why? I just wanted to jump. Are you shitting me? I was literally at the end of the level. Ah, oh, fuck. This is your fault, passion. This is what this is what I get for believing you. Can you fucking believe that Amy Rose ruined my level? Okay, it's not that scary, girl. Girl, come on. Not that serious. I just wanted to be iconic and end the level as Amy, and then she literally betrayed me in the worst way. Be careful not to fall off. Here we go. Like, why would you do that, Amy? You know how I feel. <laughs> literally, they're like doing the most right here. I think we should take care of those robots first. Oh, I don't even have the team blast now. I have to deal with them personally. Are you shitting me? Okay, we're just gonna spam. Ow! Okay, that's not working. Yes, cream. Get them. There you go. Amy redeemed herself, ladies. Oh, love getting the team blast right as... Right as the level is ending. Can I get the keys? There you go. Let's not fall off this time. Let's not change to Amy and attempt to do a cute little jump towards the ring. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, we're done. <laughs> that was way more stressful than I ever intended it intended on it to be. I'm okay. What? We should try to do better next time. Aww. Why were they stuck in that animation for a good 10 or 15 seconds? Wait, the victory thing? That's that's just the loading times on the PS2. On the Xbox it was way quicker. And I think GameCube had a version, didn't it? That may have been faster too. The PS2 um, loading times in, in Sonic Heroes are notorious for being very slow. I fucking hate this level. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What is going on? The frames aren't great either. Yeah. The the frames were way smoother on um on the Xbox. We're not going to do it, ladies. We're stuck. <laughs> that was a mistake.
yeah, as a kid, I thought it was normal. But then I played on my on my cousin's Xbox and I was like, oh that's that's how it's supposed to be. Got it. They have an option for like 60 frames. But for some reason it's like it's giving me issues with the capture card. I don't do it. It was on PC too. Oh, but it was like um okay. CD only, yeah. I wonder why they never brought it to Steam. I'll be right by you. Oh, big. They have they, there's a, a weird um, time frame of Sonic games, like Sonic Riders, Sonic Unleashed, like late PS2, early PS3 titles aren't really included in any like digital releases for anything. Oh, this song is a bop! Kim Petra's Halloween album, you're over. Everybody look out! This song is a, a bop. This, is, this really slaps. Oh wow, I sound like a teenager. By the way, ladies, I was experimenting, and uh, I'm officially able to um, to stream Tomb Raider 2 from 1997. So, <laughs> keep, stay tuned. I think I'm gonna make a list officially of like all the games that I want to play on stream, from like the Genesis. Up and the, like the Master System, the Genesis, up until PS4. So uh, that could be something to look forward to. Okay, right. No. If PS2 runs smooth, what do you mean? This is on, this is my actual PS2, if you, if that's... Oh, fuck. No, I haven't tried that. I was talking about emulation earlier. Um, no, I, I just did, um... I just figured it out for the first Tomb Raider. The, the second Tomb Raider, excuse me, the first one we already streamed. But I'm not able to stream the second one, so I had to find resources on the internet for that. Um, which is gonna lead into more, like, retro titles. Um, but PS2 I haven't really tried, no. But I, I'm pretty sure I could make it, I could make that work too. Probably with better, like, I don't know how good the... Um, I don't know if I would be able to like upscale them or anything, but you know. I love that I was completely immune to that the whole time. But if you know any info, I don't really know much about... Um, when it comes to emulating PS2, I'm not really that familiar with it, because my old computer couldn't run it. So even PSP and stuff, my old computer couldn't run it. So um, it's just always been something that I uh, that I've kind of avoided. Well, I did try. Actually, that's a lie. I did try PS2 emulation, but um, I think it was because I was trying to upscale too much. It was like it was like not running that well. So I may have to like not do upscaling or anything of the sort. Because I really want to play Persona 4, for example, but I don't have a Vita for, to play the Golden. So my only option would be the PS2 version. And I've never seen that on sale anywhere here. So I would definitely have to, to rely on... Uh, 
on resources online. Oh, the square button to break. Oh. I guess they, they would want us to break. You know what I also want to do? Sorry, I'm like, who cares about the game? Um, you know what I want to do? I want to play like old, like, gay games. I want to play like America's Next Top Model games. I want to play, because uh, I know there were like America's Next Top Model games. I want to play um, like Barbie games, Bratz games. I want to get into all of that stuff because I've always like, I've never really played any of that as a kid because like I wouldn't even dream of asking for my parents or my brother to get me any of that. So I would, but I would totally be down to trying those on stream too. Uh, man. Oh, I don't like that. I think this one is the one. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to jump from one to another. Ooh. <laughs> Even, um, even DS titles, I was thinking to. Because, um, the website I was gonna eventually purchase, purchase from, um, they don't sell those anymore. Like, the... The 3DS capturing cards. So there's that. Tamadachi Life. What? Where did that? Um. What? When? We try when? Better next time. Where did that got get released for? Oh my God! Why am I struggling with speaking? That game sounds familiar, though. Emerald challenge. Okay, wish me luck, ladies. Oh my god, it's the pink one, too. We have to get that one. <gasps> we got it! Oh my god! Iconic. Wait, it did what? Yes, stop! Where did it come out? Like, what platforms? Stop judging me. <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> Mmm, 3DS. Okay. I'm sure that's doable, right? With a decent computer. What if I did, then what? Please return Chakula! Give back Froggy! I feel like if he was to comply, he would have done it a long time ago, ladies. Oh god. Let's do it, ladies. Okay, go, <laughs> then sit. I am sitting down. I can't bear you. <laughs> Here we go. Up. I wish, um, I hope, honestly, I think moving forward games will be more accessible to stream because they know there's such a big market there. But there were so many, like, situations where, um, for example, uh, publications like IGN would be provided with, like, special- Oh no! Fuck. 
with like special three uh, 3DSs and stuff that would allow them to like record footage of the games for their reviews and stuff like that. Um, I, I like that in like these days people can like do that independently and everybody sort of has access to that technology, you know what I mean? Without like modding or any of that. Oh yeah, that's true. The 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 Switch Lite doesn't have um, doesn't really doesn't connect with um, with HDMI. That's true. We expected some way around, but yeah. Probably with modding, I'm sure that will eventually be a thing. But um, honestly, um, the regular Switch is probably the way to go. If you if you want the the best uh, Switch experience, you, you you would probably want to get the the regular type and just uh, undock it. Nintendo hates streaming. I don't know. They've been way way better about that. They used to really not like stand it, uh, but these days they completely change. I see. I, I think when they started changing like the big heads at at, cor uh, at corporate, they started implementing more like user friendly and streamer and YouTube friendly uh, things. Like they got rid of the. They had a, a system where people had to sign up to make uh, Nintendo content, or else they would DMCA them. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna team blast. And um, for a few years back, they they kind of they took all of that back, and they started being more uh, YouTuber and Twitch friendly. And it's funny because uh, uh, I think last month or something, there was a game that came out on the Switch that uh, was actually DMCAing people uh, for like streaming it or whatever. But it, people noticed that it wasn't Nintendo doing it; it was actually the developer of that game. So it isn't even Nintendo that's like DMCAing people these days, as far as I'm aware. This is only the beginning. I think they're evolving. But I do think some more traditional companies do not like the concept because they don't understand that streaming can bring more sales and people who weren't gonna buy the game weren't gonna buy it anyway. It's not like, you know, me streaming is gonna take, it's gonna make people not want to play the game. Um, like, if anything, the people who weren't, who wouldn't play the game to begin with, they're just gonna watch my stream and they're like, okay, I wasn't gonna play the game anyway. But for people who would be interested in it, they're like, oh my god, I, I actually, I'm not gonna watch anymore because I want to get this game for myself. So, I think companies are learning. Is it finished? Look at me getting good grades in this game. I already snatched an emerald. Look at me. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Sometime next week, I think I should be getting the Ring Fit Adventure game. I think that's when it comes out. Ooh, I think we're getting to the end of the game. Egg Fleet. I think we're getting to the end. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. I think so, though. Okay. How did we even get here? Oh, I hate it's this. Kind of scary. I see nothing, this is exactly why I hate this. <laughs> because Amy is so tiny. How do I even aim towards the right rail? <laughs> God damn it. I'm just not gonna move. There you go. Oh, look at those crunchy textures in the background. 
Actually, they're not that bad, considering consider, considering the era. It, they're actually that they're not actually that bad. Shit. Did I do it? I don't understand fully what I just did just now. I love how Tamadachi life is like your go-to. You're like, oh my god, when I get my computer, I'm gonna play that game. I love that. It's funny because uh, more recently I've been sort of having that, not with when it comes to a new computer, but I'm having those sort of thoughts of like getting excited to stream certain games that are not necessarily like the triple A titles that everybody is like playing or anything like that. I'm just genuinely excited about certain games and I get really excited about the old school games too, like the retro titles, PS2 games that I never got to play. PS1 games that I never played, or I would love to um, get into. Oh shit. Xbox 360, PS2, PS3, PC, GameCube, Wii U. All the consoles this game can play on. Hmm. Wow. It came out on the. It came out on PS3? PS2 Classics? Oh! Oh, that's cool. Out of all of those, I managed to get the one version that runs the worst. If that's not on brand for me, I don't know what is. Oh my god, I was like one... I was so close to like literally falling off the edge. I would have opted for the GameCube or PS3 version. Mm -hmm. Well, at the time I didn't even have a, a PS3. Because this was like early PS2. <laughs> Excuse me. And I only had a PS2 anyway. I only had PS1 and PS2. I didn't really grow up with money, so like we uh, we were very limited on, on on our gaming options, you know. Like I. My first Nintendo console was the Switch, you know what I mean? And that's kind of... there's the, the gatekeeping thing about gaming, too, that kind of annoys me. Well, it doesn't kind of annoy me, it an annoys me, in general. Uh, it's bec like, it's that culture of, uh, oh, you never played that game? Oh my god, you never did that thing? It's like, well, some of us weren't, like, able to afford all the game all the popular games at the time excuse me as i fall off the whole map right. you know like not everybody was privileged to um be able to get like the latest consoles for christmas or i mean i remember at the time my parents did like a little they did some sacrificing and they ended up like saving money to get my brother a PS1 um, to kind of celebrate him graduating from middle school at the time. Um, but it was one of those things where we, we only got the PS1 and then they got a deal I think that got it. Um, I don't even think it... I think actually it came with uh, Gran Turismo or something because they knew my brother was like a big fan of cars and stuff like that. It also came with a demo I think. That was a cool thing about the PS1. Uh, the box itself came with like a demo of uh, some like of the iconic game. So they had that demo disc had uh, Spyro, 
I, I remember it specifically because we played that demo so much for a while because we wouldn't get games super often. Uh, but that first demo disc that came with the PS1, I, th I still think that it's like a wasted opportunity that they didn't do it in other consoles because it's like, hey, you got a console, here's some games that you can expect expect from it. They had um, they had this game that was really cute called Hula World, and you played, you were literally like a, a like a beach ball, and it's it was kind of like a puzzle game, but like it was it was really interesting. It's really hard to explain, but I remember they had um, this game. I think I don't know if it was Bus to Move. I think it was like a dancing game, like a rhythmish game. I don't remember. It was like Bus to Groove, or it was something to do with Groove. And they had like all these like cute looking characters and all of them. Um, you had to press certain buttons in certain times. It had a uh, Spyro, I think Crash. It must have had Crash on it too. Um, I don't, I don't really remember anything else from that demo. I think it, I think he may have had a Tomb Raider game on it as well. Medieval, uh, probably as well. I don't, I don't even know. You're so used to the PS2 layout, yeah. Well, that was harder than I intended it on it to be. I still think the PS1 era was like, I don't know, that's like totally nostalgia goggles. But the PS1 era for me was like, so special. I think people took more risks with games too at the time, I don't know. Um, you value personal goals here? Well, I breathe today. That's good. Some people can't breathe on their own. That's something to be grateful for. Honestly, I know some people think it's like sounds dumb and stuff like that, but when I was at my lowest, I would literally like, at the end of the day, I would count my blessings to make myself feel a little bit better. Like, or to at least have that perspective of like, things are not as bad as your brain thinks they are. So I would be like, I'm thankful for, you know, being on a comfortable bed. Some people don't get to have that. I'm, I'm, um, I'm grateful for being perfect, uh, for being reasonably healthy. Uh, you know, just like stuff like that. I know it sounds like... Oh, shit. It sounds dumb for some people and it sounds like... whatever. But there's nothing wrong with being... with being proud of, like, small things. And small things that you accomplish and... Small goals or... Getting through a tough part in a video game, like what? What's wrong with being proud with that? Of that, you know? Even the fact that we all woke up today is something that not everybody gets to say. And I know it sounds che cheesy, but it's so true. You know, like hundreds of like thousands of people die every day. We're so lucky to even be here. You should be proud of the big things too, especially the big purple thing. Yeah, oh, the big, big the cat. Yes, so proud of him. He really carried the the gaming on his shoulders, the gaming industry on his shoulders. Oh my God, I almost made it. <laughs> Project Ruby being terrible at Sonic Heroes for two hours. That's the stream you chose to click on. I don't like that you can't parachute from, like, when you're high above, you can't, like, just do that. Big the Cat fought for our rights. Yeah. Big the Cat was, was Amy Rose's Uber transportation when she threw the first brick at Stonewall.
Learn your history. Just love a narrative where Uber was a thing during that time. Oh god. I was like, I shouldn't have jumped there. Oh, there you go. Yes! Look at the length that Amy Rose went to get a man. I love how the other two were like looking for their friend, looking for their friends. Doing like a, um, being so altruistic and Amy is like, I'm driving for dick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Amy really did that. Let's try on that giant oh, we were supposed to land on that. Oh, okay. We can those or, or we could just speed through this. Ready <laughs> Honestly, the sound of Amy's hammer hitting the floor is gay rights. That sound is almost as satisfying as a fan crack. And I say almost because, you know, I just want to be polite. Come on, Cream. I, I actually don't need that. I don't know why I went out of my way to go that way. When I could have just literally... I could have just jumped. Mainly his frog. Yeah. He's on a journey for his frog. Cream is on a journey to find her chow friend. And Amy just wants Sonic. And she can't give up. Oh, this was a mistake. Why did I ever do this? Oh, oh just kidding. That was intentional. That was totally intentional, everybody. Don't worry about me. I know what I'm doing. Oh, fuck. This is fine. Everything's fine. The power that she has. She can literally create tornadoes with her hammer. If she isn't she if she isn't a queen of the people, I don't know who is, honestly. You know what I mean? Look at that. Amy literally saves the world on a daily basis and she never gets any credit for it. People just call her the Pink Sonic. And you know, it's not her fault that half of her body is the, the size of her boots, but you know. We should respect her. Those are some fierce boots too. She's giving me like, um... She's giving me like Twiggy mod vibes. With those boots and that dress. She really knows what she's doing. She's a fashion legend. Amy Rose really did all of that. And the gays really left her off to dry. The disrespect. Final Fortress. The game is dropping hints that this is the final level. Here we are. Oh my god, I almost fell off. Froggy. Try not saying froggy every level. Try that challenge. Oh shit. Where is big? I literally changed to big. This is homophobia. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
Um, what if- uh, what the fuck is happening? Oh, I was supposed to break that. Okay, got it. Do you guys want to try down there? Oh god, that was stressful. Okay, there you go. Oh god. I love how she's fully aware of what's going on the second she lands on that. You can tell this is such a, a kid game because like the second they get there they're like giving you tips and you're like, um, ma'am, how do you know that? Oh, I'm supposed to like... I'm supposed to destroy these cannons. Okay, time for Big to carry. Has Big the Cat been on any other Sonic games after Sonic Heroes? Was he on Shadow the Hedgehog? I want to play. I want to play Shadow the Hedgehog one day, on stream. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, we're breaking this? Oh. Well, we tried. Oh my god, I thought I wasn't landing on that. Ah! It's already shaking and I didn't even touch it. Cream, why are you falling? She doesn't have a lot of stamina. She is a tiny little bunny. But still. Honestly, some of this some of this music actually is pretty good. Shit. I just, okay. I hate that you can't switch characters mid-air. Ow. Come on. There you go. Oh no. Oh. This game is so, so very stressful. You don't have as much control as you would like to. <laughs> oh my god. So I always hate that. When it comes to like precision, I'm like, oh no. I can't believe he built that thing. It's huge. Maybe he doesn't like his neighbors much. <laughs> Me. Honestly, Cream has a point. Sorry, I'm trying to kill someone. Don't mind me. There you go. Just casually murdering a, a robot. Oh no. Ah! Okay, that was cute though. Like the, that pink beam. Can Amy do that? <laughs> Honestly, can Amy get that power? Because uh, we need. Oh Ooh, yes! Eggman's robots are everywhere! Honestly, I I enjoy the team aspect in this game. Like everybody's just having a role and everybody and having different sections of each level dedicated to everyone, I, I really like that. And even like certain parts where you can pretty much choose like which character you want to... Uh... Oh, I'm supposed to use big for that. Like certain formations and stuff, I really, I really like that about this game. Oh yeah, Sonic Sonic Adventure. I'm falling. 
I mean, this is very much that, but on steroids. Oh my god. I could have just jumped to a different one. Big's tired of this shit? <laughs> Who isn't tired of this shit? To be fair, if your frog keeps running away and you want to keep having it as your pet, I think take the hint, you know? If it keeps running away and um, if it wants to not be a pet, you should probably let it free. It's a frog after all, so it's probably it probably just wants to be a wild little animal. Not too bad, I guess. I'm not gonna- I'm just gonna ignore the grade that we got. Um... We're gonna take this as a learning experience, and we're gonna, um, stream her on their phone. I know. 20 emblems completed! Oh my god, hi! Aw, Emily, thank you so much for fo uh, for hosting, excuse me. Don't you judge me, Miss Passion. That's what you do, I know, but <laughs> that's asking a lot of you. Are we gonna get like a cutscene or something? No problem, even though it's been a bit. How is that Eggman's fault, AB? Sorry, I just got distracted by Amy's bullshit right here. It's nice to see you though, Emily. How you been? Okay, this is giving me like Power Rangers villain, and I kind of approve. Okay, dokey. Oh shit! Ah, rude. I've been. Oh, are you fucking me? Oh, that was a good save, Amy. That's why you're the responsible for the gay community. That's why. That's why the gay community has you on your on their shoulders, Amy. That was a really good save. Come on, big. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Where am I supposed to hit it? Oh god. Oh, that hitbox is okay. Lot lots of health. I've been good. Thank you for asking. Uh, I I came up with a new schedule these days, so now I'm doing uh, I, I have two talk shows that I do uh, interchangeably, I guess. Um, I, I do Twitch Sings every once in a while. And on Thursdays, I'm back to doing uh, throwback titles. So I'm having a lot of fun uh, with Sonic Heroes right now. Um, I still haven't really decided what's going to be done next, but... Uh, I don't think we're gonna be done with Sonic Heroes in a while, so we're we're just gonna we're just gonna take one one stream at a time for sure. I I really want to do Final Fantasy VII though. Oh fuck me! I really want to do Final Fantasy VII at some point because the remake is gonna come out next. Oh fuck! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to do this from the beginning. Literally so rude. <laughs> As I run into the beam. Fuck! Leave, let me breathe! Uh, oh god, I don't have any rings. No! No, 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 no. Oh god. No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Stop! No! Oh my god. This is supposed to be easy mode! What happened to easy mode? But yeah, what have you been up to, Emily? It's really nice to see you. Don't charge at me. No, no. No! No! 
No. There is no easy mode. Team Rose is easy mode. Oh no, no, no! Not again! Oh my god. This is not supposed to be this difficult. Are you shitting on me? Okay, we can't we can't stay too far away from it. Not even you could you could you didn't complete team roles? Really? Are you serious? Oh shit. This game is hard to beat though. I will tell I will give you that. But team roles is supposed to be the easier one. I can't stop to attack it. It. <laughs> oh shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. Give me a ring. Oh, I already have a ring. Stop attacking me. That's kind of your job, but stop attacking me. Oh god, I need more rings. I need more rings. Let me get rid of these fucking cannons. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's going. Let's not stay too far away from him. He's gonna charge at us. Shit on my dreams. Stop! Fuck. He's relentless. God. Okay, I'm here, you whore. Fuck, I, I didn't have to run into him, that's for sure. Fuck me up. Don't charge at me. Okay. My god. Uh. <laughs> okay, I have team blast getting re I'm I'm getting ready for the team blast. Okay, team blast, team blast. Just fucking do it. Oh my god. Um, what is going on? No! They blocked the gay rights! They blocked the gay rights! Oh my god. <laughs> this is a shit show. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're not really almost there. He still has a bunch of health. Troublesome fools! Oh god. He's, he's, he's gonna charge. I knew that. I was like, we're too far away. He's gonna do it. No! Leave me alone! Shit. I should probably not attack while we're moving. Probably a good idea. Shit, no! No! Oh my god. I'll show you what real evil is. This part, I swear. The spike in difficulty just got me. Oh god. Oh no! No! My life. I'm wasting all of my lives here. Are you kidding me? I remember last time we tried to beat a game, a Sonic game, I got so frustrated. I literally never raged on stream as much as I did that day. And I don't... It was the end of Sonic Adventure 2. I think it was Sonic's perspective, if I'm not mistaken. And I was just mad. Actually, I think that's where the YAS thing came out from. Because that's I think that's when I beat that game. Or something. I don't even remember where my own sound effects come from, ladies. No. Well, big. 
Guess what? We just did. Okay, I'm gonna specifically go after these fucking cannons. No big, no time to hula hooping. Okay, that's good. Uh, wait, 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 wait! I hope that- I, I love that I'm talking to the game as if it can hear me and I'm like, wait, stop! <laughs> there you go. King Blast! No, stop defending yourself. You're not supposed to do that. Get him, big. Can I break the shield? Hold on. Okay, let me break the fucking... Fucking cannons. Oh, he's gone. Well, okay. Ah, shit. Stop! I'm... I keep getting blasted from all sides, and not in a good way. Oh, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel attacked! This is- oh my god. Oh my god. No! Oh my god. Mm, ladies, we are struggling. Okay, let's talk about something. I need something to get me off of this shenanigans. I need, I need something. I need something to distract me from this this bullshit. Did anything happen on, on social media? Any news about anything? Ma'am, this ain't it. No. We're, um... We're leaving. I'm calling an Uber, we're leaving. We're up. You, can count on me. you met a man? Ooh! Did you go on a date? Excuse me, did you go on a date? Tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more, did he have a big dick? Tell me more, tell me more, did you... Stick it in. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I couldn't resist myself. He is states away? Then how did you meet him? Oh! Eggman really snapped. <laughs> He's like, I'm done with your bullshit. We are done. Are you fucking serious? Come on, we can do this. Ooh, that little rainbow. Did y'all see that? I love Amy's like little like rainbow moment. When she like blasted them. I love that. Oh, that's my favorite thing. Okay, what else is there? This camera is ass. There you go. We're done with your bullshit. Come on, gay rights. They're not rushing things. Me and him had rushed. Breakups in February. Yeah, it's good to take things slow though for a little bit, especially if you if you both had bad dating experiences recently. Met this new guy a few days ago. He's so adorable. Aww, he's about my age. That's nice. Where did you meet him? Was it at a convention or what? Ha what happened? That was a bad idea. Bad idea, bad idea. Bad idea. No, Amy! Oh my god. Stop! Oh, Twitter! Q! 
cute. You're both talking about Final Fantasy VII. Aww. Cute. Shit, I literally blasted my ass towards him. Which is not usually that different from, you know, my dating life, but you know. He had fluffy hair. Aww. He's 5'4? Ooh, that's that's pretty short. I do think short guys are really cute. I don't really have a type. Like people usually go for like tall or a certain body type or whatever. I really don't have a type, but I I, I always find something adorable about like a tall guy, a shorter guy. Is that a, is that a bad thing? Do, does that just mean I don't have standards or? It just means that I'm like really open-minded and I'm just like so woke. No, just kidding. You're like 5'11? Some cute, some cute boops. Aw, that's cute. Um, where am I going? Okay. Literally so rude. We're having a moment and you're literally just walking away from us. Like, literally so rude. Like, no manners. Stop it. Knock it off. Only we're in Texas. Aww. You could try long distance though for a little bit. Are you guys like still talking on DMs and stuff? In the DDD, in the DDDDDM. I just launched Amy and Cream and I didn't go. You didn't mind to voice chat with you? Aww, cute. Although, I don't know how I feel about he didn't mind. What does that mean? Like, he, he was like, ugh, I guess I'll do it. I don't mind. Like, he's doing you a favor. Yes, Cream! Yes, girl! Oh, you are going down. She's going down. I'm yelling, Timber, you better move. Ooh, another team blast. Oh god, I don't have any rings. We better win. We need to we need to beat him. Oh, we did it! We did it! Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that was stressful. We did it! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, time to move on. Different game now. Okay, um, just kidding. Dr. Eggman, please stop being bad. Please stop being bad. Oh, oh, cause he hates his voice. Oh, everybody hates their voice though. That's normal. That's really normal, actually. <laughs> because the way that we hear our voice in our heads isn't the same way that our voice sounds to others. So, yeah, that's why we all hate our own voices. Ew! He just melted into a puddle. Amy is like, what the fuck? I'm so glad for you, cheese. <laughs> Nobody's questioning the fact that Eggman turned into a fucking puddle. Amy is like, did someone say Sonic? <laughs> oh, Amy. Um, gotta love her. We had such a beautiful journey with Amy and Cream and Big, honestly, like, life-changing. I can't believe such a masterpiece was created for us and we were able to experience this together as a community. And we got to share the, the, the magnificence of Team Rose in all of their glory.
so emotional talking about Team Rose because they did so much for the game. They really did that for us. And the gays just keep, you know, shitting on them. They don't give them the proper respect. <laughs> Aww. Cute. That's the game. That's Team Roses. Basically, you have to beat everybody's. Uh, and then you have to get all the emeralds, and then you get the secret end. You get like the secret ending, and that's the game. But uh, do we want to play as everyone? Because <laughs> all the levels are pretty much the same. <laughs> I mean, honestly, no. Uh, with Team Sonic, the levels are longer. Uh, with Team. Oh, we can play as Team Dark. We love Shadow and Rouge. Oh, I'm not done, no. I want to play as Team Dark. You're done if you have taste. Um, I do have taste, that's why I'm playing as Team Dark. Because Rouge didn't become Amy's bartender. Kidding, I don't know where I was going to go. The crocodile was Loki a baddie. I like team I like team um whatever name they have. Team Chaotic? I like them. SPO is pink, so he's going against the uh toxic masculinity. Um you have um uh, you have the crocodile whose name I can't remember, and then you have the fabulous bee. Baddie meaning he's dumb thick. Oh, I, I I got you. I got you. As in, like, he's your furry fantasy, basically. Victor, that's his name. Shadow is the goodie. Oh, to Sly. Oh my god, this game came out in 2003. I was... Try another story. The game is dropping hints that we should play as another team, guys. I don't know, the game is dropping hints here. <laughs> I do like Sonic too. I like all of them, honestly. So... Furry fantasy would be Fox from Zootopia. Ooh! <laughs> I've never seen Zootopia. <clears throat> I would assume Fox is... Uh, an otter. <laughs> Honestly, by looking at this, why wouldn't you play as Team Dark? Just look at Rouge. Just crossing her fucking legs. Just giving side-eye to Sonic. She's like, can we, can we start already? Up our up. We stand Team Dark, and Rouge is the reason they're all together anyway. Like, look at her. She's the original. She's the. Or oh, look at that outfit though, and those titties. I found Eggman's secret treasure. She's the one who puts together the team, ladies. She opened the door for the Avengers to be able to exist and assemble as a team. She's like, robots? What a queen. What a revolutionary legend. The cutscene is so quiet. Then it settles. 
Now you two make up so we can start looking for Eggman together. Gay rights. Oh yeah, baby. This makes us a team. Gay rights. She said it. She revolutionized the uh, human robot alliance before Detroit Become Human even existed. You two ready? Warning. Immediate destruction if distracted. <laughs> Hope you can keep up with me. And Shadow has um, roller skates, so <laughs> gay rights. I don't know passion. This is uh this team is gay rights in its own way. Let's change formations to sideways from here. Here they come. Omega, attack them! Oh Eggman robots must be eliminated. And Omega represents the self-hating uh press the square button to attack with fire combination when you power. <laughs> Omega represents the self-hating gays that want to destroy other gays. <laughs> because he's like, all Eggman robots must be destroyed as he's fully an Eggman robot. Shadow calls people a slur and you know it. No! Shadow is superior. No, no, no. Sonic would call people a slur. Because Sonic is the bro. Sonic is like, whoa, bro! Shadow is a good guy in this narrative. Don't believe what the media feeds into you. Don't believe the narrative that the Illuminati is trying to spread. Sonic is a jock who's down or cock. <laughs> I mean, why do you think he... Um, why do you think he rejects Amy and he's always with Tails? He's always after that Tails. That's the that's the team. You don't trust Shadow. That's <laughs> funny. I don't know. Shadow reminds me of of everybody's emo phase in middle school. They move when you approach them. It reminds me of that phase when the gays are mad at the world because they're they're gay. You know. I guess I'm up. You mean my emo phase? I mean, I didn't fully have. Well, I was gonna say. Oh no, I didn't have. A, I was gonna say I didn't have an emo phase, but there there was literally. I, yeah, I used to have like a, do you guys remember the guy from Smosh? I used to have kind of like that haircut. Rouge absolutely says, wait, what did she say? <laughs> Smoking. And she can. Um, I'm lost. What the fuck is done? Why, what happened? What is this camera? Okay. That was homophobic. I want to use. I, w I used to want Smosh to. <laughs> Honestly, uh, Anthony can still get it. Ian and Anthony were such a two. <laughs> Honestly, they were. I I don't remember. I you correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't re really remember them being like problematic either. They were like comedians on YouTube, but they weren't really like problematic. I remember like I just watched them like I would watch their Pokemon videos. So I mean. Can we fly to the shore on the other side? He slowly developed into a gym attendee. I don't mind. I was here for the average 
over average body and got him. Speed formation in order to attack ground enemies with black tornado. This attack defeats enemies by swirling them up in the air. Oh, love causing chaos. I liked Team Chaotix because uh, the um, you would be you you have to beat the levels differently. Like you have to accomplish like little missions. You used to stand vlog the vlogs of him and Kalel, especially. I used to stand Kalel, but she's she's kind of she sometimes gives me like borderline Trisha Paytas territory. Uh, oh look, Shadow did a dark hole. I wonder- you know what's in the hole. You know exactly what's in that hole. I'm actually having fun playing as them. Never knew what to create, what to name the channel. Um, yeah, and then she uh, she would have like those videos where she's like, oh my health is perfectly fine being a vegan, and then she stopped being a vegan apparently because of health reasons. So uh, people were like, oh, so your health wasn't like you said it was, like you weren't really. Um... And then she's like always like she has that thing where she stops posting, and then she when she comes back she's like doing sponsorships, and she's always promising that she's gonna be back, and then she. He's like always gone for long periods of time. Naturally. Hey, I think we can use that cannon to go up. Tell me, Ruby. Do you want me to get banned? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Gay rights. A lot of people that I used to stand on YouTube, I really just don't anymore. I used to watch like that, um, that entire like Zoella click. I used to watch all of them pretty much. I used to like stand all of them, but you scream Joey Graceffa stand? <laughs> Do I? Um. I I would watch him casually, but I wasn't I was never really like a stan. I liked uh, when he would do content with other people that I already enjoyed. Uh, I I used to be I used to watch like um, Megan all the time, and I would watch Stacy every once in a while. This um, my power. but I would watch his stuff with like them. But I don't know. Yeah, I, he. I don't know. I always just thought, like, especially in collabs and stuff, he was always like o a little bit overbearing. By himself, he was a little more tolerable. But I didn't like that stuff of um of um, and especially like you know um when he chose to. Really Basically, um, put his coming out video that everybody saw coming, by the way. But uh, he basically put c coming out as like a, a paywall sort of thing. Um, there's a rainbow in the background. 
ever since he did that thing of like, um, you know, coming out in the book and um, and all of that stuff, I was just kind of like over it. Because I don't know, I I would have I would have just preferred like um, just a normal video where he like talks about it and he's like honest and he is, you know what I mean? I was just like annoyed. He was kind of like the original like. Uh, oh, coming out, a come, a come out story that a lot of people saw coming, that, uh, he basically, like, when he did it, when he, he would kind of, um, play it off as well, too, for a while, like, he was baiting a little bit. I don't know. I just did, I, I really didn't appreciate that sort of thing of like profiting off of coming out, which is totally everybody's uh, prerogative. You know what I mean? Like I get it. If you're gonna come out, do it in your own terms and all that stuff. But I don't know. I just felt a little meh. Especially with Shane. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. This is the ultimate power. Just watch this. YouTubers encouraging straight man to. Being shipped would be dragged now. I don't know. It still happens right now. It still happens. People, uh, people have always shipped straight men and will continue to do so. Like they do it in like boy bands. They do it uh, in TV shows. Like they will continue to do so. I think, I don't even, I don't know what it is, but it's like, the teenage girls sure love to, sure love that, um, you know, I don't know what it is about the teenage, you know, the white teenage girl obsession with a uh, straight man falling in love with each other. I really don't know what the deal is with that. I th I, it might be a thing of like for them to process that since they will never be with them They don't want them to be with another girl. So for them. It's almost more acceptable for them to be gay Because that means that they wouldn't have a chance regardless. I think that's that that might be the psychology behind that Like oh, I'm, I'm never able to date them therefore they must be gay. You know what I mean? Doesn't sound like, you know, the best reasoning, but basically queer bait. What do you mean? People do queer baiting all the time. I mean, I guess people are dragged these days for doing it. That's true. Fuck my ass and call me Stacy. It used to be all the buzz of clickbait thumbnails doing very queer things for the lulz. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, a lot of that, um, do you remember, this is gonna, this is such a uh, YouTube stand thing, do you remember O2L? They would do stuff like that, like some of the, those, and even the, the British YouTubers, they would do stuff like, um, some of them who were single and stuff, they would be like, am I gay? Or stuff like that, and then in the video, I remember one of them, I don't remember the, their name, but they got dragged, um, even then, they got dragged because, um, People were like, oh, this is not okay and stuff, but I don't know if it got the, um... If it got the attention that it would have gotten these days. Jack's Gap's presence alone, so much queer bay. I mean, if we're gonna talk about tag teaming... <laughs> But I get you. That would happen all the time. Well, 
Honestly, yeah. He really did. I don't I he probably wasn't even aware, right, of the um of how like dangerous that was or how irresponsible that was or how problematic that was. I don't know, for him it was probably a good opportunity to get all upon them, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, for him it was probably, not that it makes it any better, actually, I don't know how even worse it makes it. But, you know, he was like, the fans are all about the shipping, I think they're cute, they're willing to collab with me, I'm single, so let's go, you know? It doesn't make it any better at all, but, you know. YouTube these days is weird, though. Like, the type of content that uh, is produced these days on YouTube is really... is also very similar, like... The, um, And the editing is so different too, like people, oh my god, the amount of people that put all those distorted sounds and like that zoom in with like the, the huge nose, kind of like that Snapchat filter that I used to use on Twitch things. Um, the amount of, bitch what the fuck, edits that I, I, at this point they're just so overdone, I'm just like over it. The con I don't I don't consume youtuber ish content anymore I don't really follow like youtubers Why don't we try up there? like I you like I still like I, I still watch the uh, the occasional Shane Dawson series because they're genuinely well done uh, and I always hope for them to become better. But, um, and they have been getting better, but, you know, we had this conversation about the enabling of people that shouldn't be enabled. So that's always, like, a tricky thing. And even, you know, his own past, right? Because people say, oh, he's learned from it, but he's still selling merch off of the problematic character. You know, so... Yeah. So that's a thing. And how they kind of... Uh, I you, I don't know if you... I don't think you, you saw the series, the new series, but the fact that they were considering, like, uh, a, um, a palette called, like, Controversy... To me, it gave me the vibes of, oh, let's profit off of this. Oh my god, we're so controversial. Let's make money off of it. We're, it's so funny how controversial we are, you know? Him doing a palette is a joke. Uh, well, I just, you know, it's interesting. Because he's not a makeup guru, right? So... It's just, it seems like, uh, uh, he seems clearly passionate about it, which is totally fine, but I don't, I, I just kind of was like, oh, they're doing it. He's done drag for over a decade, but did you see that? Well, yeah, it was very like Miranda Sings. Someone whose makeup resume includes black. Yeah. Doctor Eggman, we're talking to you, Doctor. This is revenge. Time to pay, Eggman. I I I get you. Also, I just realized I allowed the term blackface on, which although it's not a bad term, it's a term that you know is informative. 
People don't say that to attack others. For me, the, the logic for me is like, um... If the machine is moving too fast, um, the I think for me they're like legitimizing it in a way from like the series with Jeffrey Star because people are like, okay, he doesn't really know what's up, but he's at least collabing with someone that does. When it comes to makeup and quality makeup and, and stuff, which I assume from all the people I see in my timeline who get it, I'm like, must be real good makeup for y'all to ignore all the all the past issues. <laughs> who wants a Shane palette? I think his fans would. He does have a lot of them. You smell like this and Smegma? What is Smegma? My foreign ass is like, what is that? Yeah, I, I don't like... Oh, ew! Oh, that's disgusting. That's gross. Um, ugh, ugh, that's so gross. Um, I get it. I get what you're saying. I don't like that about him. He's always... He, that brand of like, oh, I never shower. And uh, I don't... I do not like that. I do not. I'm like, it, you know, it's kind of that thing of, um, that I was talking earlier, it's like, people kind of, uh, putting their bad, like, habits and bad parts of themselves as, like, a quirky thing, and it's like, there's nothing quirky about the fact that you don't shower, it's just disgusting, you know? Like, it's not a fucking joke, it's just gross. You know what I mean? The way he presents himself doesn't scream consumable. I get it. But a lot of those comments, girl, were, oh, I can't wait for that palette, so. Don't underestimate me, doctor. So I don't know. I think people are still, people are still interested. I personally probably most likely won't get it. <laughs> but you know. Do you um <laughs> if you see, if I see any anybody with it on here boot. <laughs> I was going to say um is that usually a factor when it comes to like when you filter your um, your timeline and what I mean by filter is like do, if you if you if you eye someone getting a like a Jeffree Star palette or something like that, is it usually uh, is it usually like a boot for you? Well, that's because you are rouge. It's just you know, just saying. For support, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That makes sense. I, pr I I already said it. I most likely wouldn't get anything, anything Jeffrey Star. Doesn't look like we'll be able to move on. No problem. Who, Let's get moving. You know, for the of the the recent questionable events, funny enough, owns Jeffrey Star and James Charles. Wait. Uh. Let's go up. Veronica? <laughs> I was trying to remember what name I gave the person I was talking about earlier. Oh, the one, uh... Oh. Oh, I know. That, um... The one, um, with the um, follower-only thing. Oh, 
Oh, Selena! Wasn't that the one who did the follower only thing? No, but still no match. Oh. Well. <laughs> well. Oh, that was the that was the other person. That was we're gonna call them uh Gay Who Plays Dead by Daylight number 67. I was thinking about that person though. I, I was thinking about the uh, the one you DM'd me about. I just I, I just thought I for off the top of my head I thought they were the one that did the follower only thing. They enjoyed the Shane series. I mean I've voiced my uh, my enjoyment for Shane's series before. But I never actively... I'm not like an active stan or anything. They are well-made series, I will say that, but you know. I guess that, that would be the same uh, thing that people would say, like, Oh, it's well-made makeup, so, you know. Kind of like devaluing the bad that that person has done by just saying, Oh, they... Um... That's true. I usually watch with adblock too. <laughs> Not intentionally, but I just have everything on YouTube with adblock. Naturally. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. Is it going to be like $70? I don't think their pallets are that expensive. Maybe 50 at most, right? With shipping, I guess it's a little more. Either way, I get ya. One of his is... 60? Wow. God damn. I would assume that a lot of people don't really know. A lot of people are casuals. So when it comes to a, like a lot of the controversies that people go through and stuff like that, a lot of the times people don't know. Well, not a lot of the times. Probably a small percentage. I would say... Like... 70 or 80 percent of people know and they just ignore it <laughs> they even mentioned it when they bought the JC palette who's JC oh J yeah James Yeah. Well, but that's just a, a questionable human, right? Just generally. Off of what I heard. And what I, the little I've seen. That's just another questionable choice, I guess. Of theirs. Apparently it's just a joke to some, and buying makeup doesn't factor into support, like, how much following... Wait, what? Apparently it's just a joke to some, and buying makeup doesn't factor into support, much like how following someone doesn't. I am conf- wait. Oh, 
Oh, I, I understand what you're saying. According to them, buying their makeup and following questionable people doesn't mean that you're supporting them. Got it. I'm trying to read. I, I'm... <laughs> English is not my first language, okay? Sometimes I just I just need to process the, the sentence and put two and two together. Click, click. <laughs> Fashionisms in sentences. Yes, exactly. It's hard. Uh... Let's have Shadow handle this. <laughs> you have to slip around directing someone. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, even uh, with, like, friends, when I see, like, a... Oh my god, I can't wait for, like, a Jeffrey's new palette. I'm, you know, I don't necessarily withdraw support from that person, but I'm, like, internally, I'm, like, okay. Come on. Although, um, oh my god, can I just fucking jump? I don't want to do that shit. Oh my god, I just want a normal jump. Okay, I'll just, just normally do a slight jump here. Some people care for business deals more than what the person does. Uh, yeah, I mean, people will claim, it, it's kind of what you were saying. People will um, justify it as like, I don't stand for what the person believes in, but I, they do make really good products and... They will claim that the person isn't the only one working on that and it's probably, you know, just their name and they have other people working for them. Oh, fuck my ass. If I see a certain popular streamer endorsing Jeffrey, I'm gonna be fuming. Well, there's a lot of popular streamers. Saying a certain popular streamer isn't really saying much. And use the left analog stick to balance. As in B? Oh. Fuck my pussy. <laughs> You'll probably DM. Have they ever shown support for that person? For for Jeffrey? Or any any one of the sorts? I feel like if they haven't so far, I don't think they, they would all of a sudden, right? I would assume. But then again, people can surprise you. Hopefully, oh, hopefully we're not getting any surprises. Because that would be... Not great. You've seen some on here with own the products and I'm just like, girl, yeah. Thank you, Omega. I was like level 3 on everybody, now I'm like... I'm like a pleb. But the formula, <laughs> but the racism, I know. And people will always claim that he's changed, he's a better person now. Changed enough to say it, but those things are usually ignored, fashion, or not even noticed. Oh my god, what? 
How the fuck did that happen? I was literally just pressing up the whole time. I was literally just walking forward. Why does this game allow you to go off map like that? I was literally pressing just like up. I was literally moving forward. And the game was like, you know what, sis? You don't deserve rights. Can I be honest, a reason why I didn't get The Walking Dead, the the third season, or the last season, I don't even know if it's the third or the fourth, was because of, like, of all the layouts and stuff like that. I was like, oh, so you're just gonna uh, fuck all of these people over and then just, like, sell the game as if it's, like, nothing is wrong? Oh my god. And then, like, you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, people were supporting like the the people who weren't fired which is basically like two percent of the company as much as it sucked because i really wanted to i was like oh i don't want to support that you know what i mean but the gaming industry chose to support that as a big majority a lot of people chose to ignore that And it, this is not to- I'm not saying this to like, get like, woke points or anything like that, like, who cares? It's not like- they were bankrupt anyway, and the company went under anyway, so it's- it, it's- it doesn't matter. But just morally, I, I was just kind of with that thing of like, oh, I don't wanna- I don't wanna support that. Oh, there you go. But people will say stuff like that. People will say like, "Oh, uh, you just you don't buy a Jeffree Star palette because you're just you just want to get uh, woke points." Oh, did they? Oof. So what 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 does one do in that situation? <laughs> Especially in a situation where they represent more than just themselves, right? Mission complete. I guess all you can really do is like keep an eye out, right? And just be like, oh interesting and just see if it gets worse. Yeah. I couldn't even beat Gamma or Beta. I don't know if it would be that bold. People do that all the time. If it's like I would do, I would say no to an endorsing if it was like a brand I didn't believe in or I didn't care about or I didn't want to support for whatever reason, right? Exactly. You can always offer to take the picture. <laughs> Honestly, you would probably know of like a photo opportunity, like, oh, that person... Uh, oh, that person is gonna be there at a certain amount of time and you could just be like, hey, I'm not going, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna do something else at that time. You know, you could always just like avoid. Oh my God, this sucks. The controlling for this actually sucks. Why didn't that stream queen take a photo? Yeah. Well, I mean... I'm sure you wouldn't be the only one, right?
I would like to believe that. Surely, he wouldn't be the only one. He probably would be, yeah. Well, the thing is, you probably wouldn't be the only one thinking it, but you would probably be the only one actually going through and, like, actually not taking the picture. I honestly, in person, I don't know how much I would, uh, just, like, deny someone... You know, I, it's it's rough because you don't want to have like a picture of you and someone you don't support out there. But at the same time, in that social scenario, how much do you want to be like the bad guy? Or how much do you want to be the person who didn't take the picture? Or I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter in the in the in the long scheme in the in the long scheme. What? In the bigger scheme of things, in the... I'm expecting to deny quite a bit next year and it won't reflect on me. But also, don't want to be fake and also be pictured with those I don't like or approve of. Oh, it won't reflect on you. Yeah. God damn. Let's go. This is a bit too much! God fucking damn it! The game has, has like all these things you can jump into and then it just doesn't work. That's literally not what I wanted to do, but okay. Let's go. This is a bit too much! Uh I can see myself denying it. I mean, I don't know why someone I why someone I would I don't really follow or get along with would want a picture with me. You know what I mean? Like why would someone you don't associate with want to all of a sudden take a picture with you at TwitchCon or something like that? This is a job for rude. The queens were bombarded every two seconds. Really? Well, I mean, I don't blame. I'm not like. Makes a lot of sense, actually. Rouge, you take care of the flying enemies. Attack them with thunder shoot. Level up. I would assume though, like as the the stream queens grow, there it's gonna turn into like smaller separate groups. You know what I mean? I don't see like if ten of ten of you happen to go next year, or if it ends up growing to the point where there's like thirty stream queens and stuff like that. I don't know if like there would be like an obligation for all of you to be at everything together. You know what I mean? But then again, it's still like, as a team effort, I would still see 30 queens running, to tw th running through TwitchCon. Hey, listen. How many stream queens are there? Not counting drag queens that are not stream queens, for whatever reason. I do think at some point, though, like, there's gonna be multiple, like, drag queen teams as well. 29? Oh, there you go. Honestly, if drag keeps growing on Twitch, I could totally see, like, the number be, like, double next year or something. There's already people starting drag. And I'm starting soon too, so you know. Not saying that that means I'll necessarily automatically be in the stream queen, but um, I would I would imagine that uh, there was probably some queer people at TwitchCon this year that were like, "Oh my God, they exist on Twitch! They're so cool!" Just 
Just watch this. I'll take it from here. I'll take it from here. It's being cut down to those who prioritize dragon streams. Oh, got it. How I've slipped in. Well, um, I think anyone from the stream queens who watches your content knows that it's like it's something that you want. Like if it was up to you, you would have been doing drag all along. You know what I mean? So I think that's why you're in the team because they know that uh, that's like a there's a technical limitation there, and they know that you you do it regardless. I DM'd Dia right from the start and we talked. She knows I do it outside of Twitch and the rest of the queens know the content is coming. Yeah, exactly. So you know how you slipped in. <laughs> That's exactly why. For me, I would probably do drag like maybe like once a week at the most. Not because I wouldn't like to do more of it, but financially, to like get a, a bunch of different like wigs and like outfits and stuff for drag, it's just not something that I can realistically say that I can commit to doing on a weekly or on a daily basis even. Unless all of a sudden I, you know, that doing drag was something that really took off with my streams and I was able to put more of my Twitch income towards that, but my Twitch income isn't really, doesn't really come in often. So when it does, I, my plan for now is for it to go towards like TwitchCon funds. Come on. When people come in and uh, you still feel like shit when people throw subtle shade. Uh, when people come in and you're not a queen, yeah. Where the next drag stream is, yeah. I think that's inevitable, though. Uh, I would I would assume that every queen who does any stream off of drag, I think they they all of them at some point must have gotten. Why did I fucking jump? I would assume all of them get a. When are you doing drag next? Because that's what like for example, when people are known for like doing Minecraft, for example, I know my uh, I always use that example, but that's because like my friend Ash is uh, in the Minecraft community, so every time she's not doing that. She always get say, oh, when are you doing Minecraft next? And she's like, oh, we're not doing it today. And then they're like, oh, suddenly my computer crashed. You know, kind of like, like that thing that happens every once in a while in these streams too. When like someone doesn't agree with me and all of a sudden they're like, suddenly my monitor doesn't work. <laughs> and then two minutes later they're like commenting on what we're talking about and they're like, oh, it works again. Great. Oh, do you get it from, like, other queens, too? Or... Oh, shit. You can DM me. I think I know what you're talking about, though. Like, it happened recently when, um... It was soon after TwitchCon, and I remember, um... There was someone in particular who was like, "Oh, I I saw like an article about the stream queens, and I'm ch and I checked it out, and you you kind of even played it off as like, oh, I'm sorry you're stuck with me, kind of thing. Is it like stuff like that where people just are kind of like, oh, you're not in drag and you're in the stream queens, you know?" God fucking damn it. There you go. The queens are actually all polite about it, but... But one, but it's happened in one certain... Couple streams where certain people have worded it in a cunty way. Ooh! God damn. Alright. It's not exactly T. Oh god. Try not to fall and also read. And I ended up falling. 
It almost makes me not want to do it because of uh, how they expect it. Ah. Uh -huh. Who cares about them though, you know what I mean? You have like literally amazing plans and I don't even know all about all of them. But you have plans to literally like make a new path for drag queens on Twitch. So, who cares? It's funny because it's actually something that I was, um, when I was watching the, um, what is it called? The panel for people who, who do, who do, ugh, who do s unique things on Twitch, um, they were kind of talking about how, uh, being a pioneer, there you go. They, they talked about how sometimes it's not about, um, coming up with something original, it's being the first of that category. So they said, for example, um, people remember the first man who went to the moon, they don't remember the second one, but they remember the first woman, you know what I mean? So it's it, it's always kind of that, so if you can be the first like drag queen to do that, a certain thing that maybe someone else has done on Twitch, but you're the first drag queen to do it, that's gonna be special, you know? Like, for example, Deer isn't the first person who do, who does makeup on Twitch, I'm assuming, and she's not the first person doing games either, but she's the first drag queen, or one of the first drag queens to do it, to do both, you know? And that's gonna be different, and especially uh, when it comes to, uh, if we get to a point where there's, like, queens performing, like, there's queens doing, like, just dance, queens doing, like, singing and stuff like that, that's going to be different for, for the community too, because they're not going to be the first singers on Twitch, but they're going to be the first drag queens. So that's always, you know, a little... You're pioneering in your own way. Whether or not you... Just dancing drag sounds like death. Um... I, I, don't, it's, I think it's doable. I mean, a lot of the, dance, a lot of the dancers on, on Just Dance are wearing heels anyway. So you could probably get away with it. You can probably do it. You know what I mean? If you have faster choreography, maybe so. I don't know. I mean, unless you wear like giant ass heels. Seems like that works for most of the Just Dance category. Ooh! People half passing the choreography. <laughs> God damn! You really went there. Girl, always. I mean, I've seen people do like a thing of like, oh, I'm doing it in heels today. Or we're doing it in heels for like an hour or stuff like that. Um... I think it would be interesting. I would be willing to try. I don't know if I could though with like my apartment situation. I feel like my downstairs neighbor would end up like finding me and killing me. With all the click clacking of high heels going around. You know what I mean? Fuck my ass. I don't really watch Just Dance too often. Like I don't watch those streams too often. I think a lot of those are, are basically re trying to recreate what, what um, little Sia does. Okay. Down to like how the stream looks and all of that stuff, and how they go about like requests and all that stuff. It's so bare without it. There's a lot of dupes of her. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> it almost reminds me of the Twitch Sings phenomenon where everybody in that community, like, there's certain expectations. So, like, some people. A lot of people, if not all of them, have like a queue system so people can join and do duets with them. 
and stuff like that. There's just like certain things that are just kind of, it sounds or it seems like they're like expected off of those streamers. I'm surprised uh, little Sia wasn't in the um, in the Pioneers panel. At least not this year. Because she was, you know, she was the first, if not one of the first, uh, just dancers. No one ever thinks, how can I make just dance unique? But some just don't care to just turn on a can. Oh yeah, I mean that's. Hey, that's what I do with games, you know what I mean? It's like, it's hard to come up with like, how do I make gaming unique? How do I make something special? But at the same time, people complain, and I'm, I've, I've done that too, of like complaining that you don't get the numbers that a lot of people are getting and stuff like that. But if you're not doing something unique, you're not making yourself stand out, then what, you know, it's also kind of on you. Not kind of, it is fully on you. No! I'm falling! She's not like flying. She's just like gliding. I definitely have a hard time with that. I can 100% admit that. And some people think, oh, just being me makes it unique because nobody else is me. And I've thought that too, or... It's either men creeping, or people who actually play. Yeah, it's an interesting audience. Uh, you get the people who try to request like the hardest songs to see you suffer. You get the, the percentage of people who want to see... Who are like creeping, like you said, like they're hoping for... Like your tummy to flash, they're hoping for they're they're hoping for the booty to jump. There's the people who um, who want to see their favorite dances and always request the same music. There's the people who um, there's the people who are dancing the same songs as you are and then posting their score in the chat as if you care about about that. Um, there's like, it's an interesting audience for sure. Oh fuck my tits. <laughs> Trying to focus and not die. Well, that didn't help at all. I definitely have a hard time with that conversation of how do I make my channel unique? How do how am I unique? How do I set myself apart from others? My big problem is that honestly it's space. People just uh, have this thing of like, oh just come up with something unique, but a lot of times in order for you to do something that nobody else has done before, you need a budget and you need like sometimes the space for it. You know what I mean? People underestimate that a lot. And people say that because it's, it was way easier for, you know, streamer number 17. Uh, because they joined at a time where you could build an audience literally just doing this that I'm doing. But that's not the same for people joining in 2019, you know? People in 2019, people already know what Twitch is all about. People already have seen multiple people play games in a certain way. They just, they want to see unique stuff. They want to see something new. And it's really hard to come up with that, you know? Cohesiveness. Yeah, like, um... Like, yeah, exactly. 
always finding a unique way of doing that or always putting your own twist on that and then after a while having to come up with something else because people will get tired of that. Exactly. And then it's like carving out a niche, but also having it not be so niche to the point where nobody knows that and nobody will watch that. And also sometimes when it comes to, uh, you know, yesterday we um, we uh, we raided uh, Hamshi for example, and he was he was like nervous because he was like screenwriting on on stream. And there's also that aspect of like if you're doing something that nobody else has done. The amount of nerves and anxiety that come from it because you don't know how to do it. You like you literally have to figure out how to do it on stream because you know you have no frame of reference. That is also incredibly difficult. You used to watch a Simpsons hit and run speedrunner and he'd always play it differently every other week yeah like trying new challenges yeah that's what people who play like Pokemon for main like who main Pokemon that's how they do it too like they pretty much go through every like uh, game of the franchise and then they play a different game of the franchise but they do a Nuzlocke and then for the other one they do like a randomizer and then for a different one they uh, they do a different challenge and all of that stuff. For me, I just want to keep it simple for now and just kind of do things that I want to do and things that feel right to do and ask for like the audience's input and uh, eventually whatever I think I feel like eventually things will come together. But, you know. It's unfortunate, right? Having a, a vision for something and not being able to do it and not know like when that vision will come to life. That is one of the most frustrating things I can tell you about like wanting to make content. And you know this passion because obviously you've had your um, your PC complications and, and having to not be able to do what you want. Those barrier generators look just like the machines we saw earlier. If we destroy the robots, the devices should fall too. Sorry, I can't. I, I want to read chat, but I, I can't right now. Shit, I'm supposed to use Shadow for that. No! Fuck my pussy. No! No! Oh my god. Oh my god. I barely made it. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh shit. It's taking me a while and with it so close, still far. Yeah. Absolutely. For me, my first hurdle was getting this laptop. It was so frustrating. I was unemployed. I'm ashamed Couldn't really I'm find so anything. I barely had job experience, so people weren't really hiring me. Um, I can't stand this game's structure. Rewatching it after not playing for years is annoying. It's so clunk. It is, it is. Honestly, it pretty much plays the same as I remember from back in the day. But it's just like, oh yeah, this was very clunky. Man, who are those freaks over there? What's up, SBO? And you are... Just what do you think you're doing here? You what tell them, Rouge. Our client's adversary, perhaps. You mean the bad guys? 
You guys don't fool me. I know what you're after. Better stay out of my way. Okay, Rouge, you tell him. I do have to go. Did the game save? It does after each thing.